Hello everyone, we hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Roxanne Lerma for the City of McAllen. Thanks so much for tuning in to MCN. Now today we're talking about our friends over at the University of Texas Pan American. And to help us out with that, Ms. Noxy Lopez, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me today. So every year we have a big event known as Festiba with a B. Yes, with a B. Okay, so for folks that don't even know what Festiba is, tell us about it. All right, well Festiba is the Festival of International Books and Art, and now in its ninth year, um, it promotes literacy. Uh, we like to celebrate the arts and humanities, and uh, we're very excited about this year because our big theme is uh, creating innovations in education. And so what that basically means is that we're gonna take uh, STEAM, which is uh, a big word that's being, uh, it's emerging right now. And okay. STEAM is basically um, integrating the arts and the humanities into science, technology, engineering, and math. So it's a four day conference. It's uh, March 20th through the 23rd. And, 20th through uh, the 23rd, okay. Dozens of activities for everyone, for the public, and it's free. Okay, so the first few days, is it just geared more to our educators or is it open to the public? How does that work? Well, it's actually open to the public. Uh, we do have uh, Librarian and Educators Day and those are some activities that are going to be specifically for our educators and administrators and of course our librarians. But there are activities throughout you know, the whole four days for everyone, for the public. It's going to be free and um, you can find a, a complete list of the times and the events at www.utpa.edu slash Festiba. And that's Festiba with a B. Okay, that, that, that's a mouthful. Say it again, www.utpa.edu slash Festiba with a B. Okay, so it kind of culminates with the community day type of thing at the very end? Yes, we have two big nights. Um, on Friday night, we're oh, gonna okay. have the Jardín del Arte Community Art Festival. And um, you know that's going to be at the Edinburgh City grounds, and there's going to be food vendors, there's going to be authors, dancers, presenters, uh, tents for children's activities, play reading, poetry, just a, a big festival, and, and it's free. It's for everyone. You know, it's a great activity for the whole family, and we really want to encourage the public to go out there and have some fun with us. So I've heard in the past that the kids really are receptive to this. They have a great time because they can paint, they can read. I think some of the authors will even give out books to them. Exactly, yeah. We'll be giving out some books. Um, the South Texas Literacy Coalition um, is one of our big partners. And, you know, they're going to be out there, uh, like you said, face painting. They're going to be reading books. Uh, very engaging things for our students because, like I said, all of this is to promote literacy, not just not just for our students, but throughout the whole community. So food and fun for the entire family, but at the same time, promoting literacy. So why is it so important for our university to do this? Well, you know, the university is the beacon of education here in our community. and. Um, Literacy, you know, there are a lot of literacy challenges out there in our community, and so Festiba is a way to bridge those gaps. Excellent. Okay, so also if you're a music lover, I heard something about a mariachi exactly, festival. Exactly, yes. That is going to be our big night, the okay. second night, actually. I okay, so say. Friday is our book reading, kiddos, yes, all that Jardín kind of stuff. Festi uh, Jardín del Arte Festival. Okay. And uh, Saturday, we're going to start off with a mariachi competition for middle school and high school students. Excellent. And um, it's going to culminate in an evening and a concert. Uh, we're going to have Mariachi, uh, Mariachi Sol de Mexico de Jose Hernandez with, of course, uh, Mariachi Aslan from yeah, UTPA, award winning. Of course, award -winning. And they are so famous as yes. it is, Mariachi Aslan. Everybody knows our UTPA. Exactly. He's, they've played for Obama. You know, they travel the country. And so they're going to be giving this concert for free alongside the winners of the Mariachi concert. Uh, both the middle school and the high school students. So again, they're incorporating our kiddos in this. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, we want everyone to participate in the community. Uh, throughout the week, we're going to, our UTPA faculty, staff, and students are actually going to be presenting some scholarly work. They're going to be doing the plays they have. Um, you know, a lot of workshops, a, a lot of things for, for everyone, if, whether you're a student, a mom, a dad, a child, an educator. Um, 
we'll have something for you. So if you have a chance, stop by during the latter part of the week and maybe visit some of our things. And then, of course, we have our Friday and Saturday events. Exactly, yes. And so we really want to encourage everyone to attend every event. And uh, like I said, you can find a full list of events and times at utpa.edu slash Festiba with a B. Okay, so Festiba with a B. So um, real quick, let's uh, recap where, when, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, Festiba is going to run from March 20th through the 23rd, mm -hmm. and it's going to be mostly at UTPA with the exception of the Jardín del Arte Community Festival, which is going to be at the Edinburgh City Hall grounds. Okay, and, excellent. Um, all right. Noxie, thank you so much for joining us, and we certainly hope that you'll head out there to Edinburgh. Maybe it's face painting, maybe it's mariachis, maybe it's reading a book. They're going to have it all for you. For the City of McAllen, I'm Roxanne Lerma.